everybody i'm your science teacher barani i'm so sorry for the delay i was unable to provide you with my slides as well as my recording i had in had proper internet connection so for today i'm going to teach you on heredity and variation this is chapter 5 uh, i believe that we haven't started this in most of our centers so just be patient try to read through the notes that i'm going to give you and also hear this recording hope it's helpful if you missed out on anything uh, it's fine i will try to organize a discussion online if this mco extends or else we will have replacement classes no matter what okay right so we take a look at heredity and variation not uh, a lot of slides here so the first one you have to understand the three main words that we're going to learn for this particular chapter chromosome chromosome dalam bahasa melayu pun sama juga uh, it's located in the nucleus if you remember we have cells cells we got plant cells and uh, animal cells cell haiwan cell tumbuhan and di dalam cell Uh, nukleus merupakan satu tempat di mana uh, mereka mengawal semua aktiviti-aktiviti sel so it controls all cell activities therefore chromosome is actually determining what are their control factors okay so gene on your gene perspective information from our parents uh, from our or from our generation you see for example uh, if you take a look at a picture of you your mother and your grandmother within the same age frame let's say maybe in their 20s or in their teens you will somehow see a lot of similarities they look the same it's because you carry the same genetic traits or we call it the genes uh, which is actually located inside the chromosome inside the nucleus di dalam nucleus and this ever famous word dna a lot of people know what the meaning of uh, the word dna it's related to something to genetics and all that but then you don't know the full term so this is the full term deoxyribonucleic acid yes you have to remember the spelling uh, acid deoxyribo look like so you have to uh, try to do this okay now next we take a look at comparison of cell division this is the next part you will learn so if you see there's mitosis and meiosis so under mitosis meiosis mitosis and meiosis is actually cell division where one cell breaks into two and then the cell further develops into becoming many other cells and become tissues menjadi tissue menjadi system menjadi organ so all these words that will be something that you were very familiar with if you remember the structure of a human we start from the cell then we go to the tissue kita pergi ke tissue lepas cell lepas tu kita pergi pada organ organ pergi pada sistem dan sistem yang berfungsi boleh menjadikan kita menjadi organisma so the same thing starts okay everything starts from these two mitosis meiosis but uh, mitosis you must understand it happens to all the cells in your body except for gametes So gamete means what? Gamete bermaksud sperma dan ovum, sperm and ovum. Sperm and ovum goes through meiosis. That's a separate process. Okay, there are many reasons why they are different. So you can see the differences here from the purpose, number of division, crossing over, pindah silang, uh, number of daughter cells, bilangan sel anak, genetic composition, types of cells involved. So these are the differences between them. So therefore you have to understand that you need to memorize this okay you have to have an idea of what this is all about because i believe there's essay questions coming up for your new format so therefore you have to understand how to do table format and all that so later on we will learn all that but for now try to understand this whole thing hopefully you can memorize and try to take a look at a few videos i will also attach some videos uh, in the group or in our email so you all can actually access to it All right so we move on with the next one after mitosis meiosis if you see here this is a picture view i managed to find a way to try to explain to you hopefully you understand okay luckily i didn't draw so if i draw you all know how bad it's going to be now let's see mitosis meiosis we got parent cell we got cell indo meaning parent and then at the end at the bottom you can see this daughter cells uh, cell ana so if you see mitosis let's just use this mouse hopefully you can understand mitosis it starts with one one here okay but uh, they have two chromosomes inside let's put this as chromosomes the chromosomes will go through duplication same process for both both going through the same but there's another thing that happens in meiosis later on if you see the comparison chart kalau you tengok di sini perbezaan pindah silang berlaku di meiosis tetapi tidak berlaku di mitosis. So kalau kamu tengok di sini lepas habis proses duplikasi di sini dan juga di sini, apa yang akan berlaku ialah 
uh, meiosis di sini akan mengalami pindah silang crossing over tetapi di bahagian mitosis dia ada apa berlaku seterusnya adalah pembahagian you tengok di sini mitosis pembahagian hanya berlaku sekali so bila bahagi mereka kekal sama you tengok sel induk di atas mempunyai dua kromosom di dalam sel anak yang terhasil pun mempunyai dua kromosom di uh, sel anak masing-masing so that means if you realize the numbers of chromosomes remain the same so if you take a look at the differences here and all later on you can actually try to read through bilangan kromosom sama and gametes have half the number separuh daripada bilangan so if you see that then you can understand that uh, there is uh, pembahagian separuh ok di sini sama di sini dua tetapi pada bahagi proses berlaku hanya satu 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 why because you see di sini duplikasi dua-dua mengalami sekali tetapi pembahagian berlaku dua kali untuk meiosis hanya sekali untuk mitosis division happens two times for meiosis but only once for mitosis so this is a common understanding of what mitosis and meiosis is about there's a long process that you have to understand there's a uh, uh, detailed changes that you will learn how the chromatids uh, will they shorten and thicken will they duplicate themselves will they go through crossing over and what happens after that how they separate and move to the opposite poles so it's a long part okay i've simplified it into a way that i hope you can understand so please give me feedback if you can understand this whole thing then i'll go to the next step where i'll prepare a slide on uh anaphase telophase which is much more detailed process okay i will leave this slide uh for you to assess and then after that you take a look at the worksheet and try some of the activities and we move about from there onwards so i hope you understand what's happening and we catch up soon okay thank you bye